always correct. And sometimes it's a challenge for you to be where God is to be, or where God is not. You must be correct where God is. Time and Exodus happen. You don't just live just like that because an Exodus is a forceful rebellion, a rebellion against the system of darkness, a rebellion against the born man, a rebellion against the born woman. When the Lord lets you go alone, I think it is not fair enough. It's not just enough. He has to let he has to let you go together with that which you have labored for many years. And that is why immediately when they leave Egypt, they became suddenly a prosperous nature, a nation. Suddenly, because all the beauty and all the bounty of Egypt in keeping to their riches was transported together with them. When they left, it was not lost. He said, Go after them again. He didn't know that the same God that did a sign is still the same God again. And while he went after them, the Bible said another sign was being done again. And there was another wonder. There were so many wonders being done in Egypt. And all of those wonders was done by the finger of God. Men cannot do any wonder. It takes God to do a wonder. That's why anytime you see signs and wonders happen in scripture, the Bible says it's by the hand of God. It has to happen by a finger of God. If your life must be shifted beyond the level that it is now, there has to take a finger of God for it to happen. And that's the reason why you must be able to believe God beyond anything, beyond the word of man. It is good that I speak the word of God to you. But the strength of what I speak is at the detriment of the potency of the communication of God. Because if God has not spoken unto you, if God has not spoken in death, I have still lied. Speak again and again and nothing yet to happen. Signs are not the things that men do. It's what God do. We are the ones that do the wonders. It is my desire that your life will become a sign and a wonder unto men. This thing will happen swiftly, it will happen suddenly. There is a bondage in the family. There is a cross in the family. It doesn't matter. We saw it in the life of the beloved children of Israel. But we saw liberty. We saw emancipation. We saw an exodus. It means that any time bondage remains for so long, it's because there is an appointed time. There is always an appointed time for darkness to rule. Before they say, let there be light. And when the Lord commanded light to shine out of darkness, light cannot but shine. And darkness cannot but let go. Because light never negotiates with darkness. Any time light comes, darkness leave he said the Lord God has prevailed over my life and over my family and I and my family shall become children and sons and daughters of women we shall become sons and daughters of signs and wonders because the children the Lord has given unto us we are a generation of signs and wonders and you must be able to believe it, it was a covenant a man had with God and he included his lineage that all of us has to become children of signs and wonders